Some of you may know Kelly Tidd as Don't Say Dementia on Twitter. She is a funny, very funny lady, and she has uh, taken on a ridiculous adventure. Paintbrushes and perseverance, that's just the beginning of what she's going to tell you about. And by the end of this, you're either going to envy her or be very happy you're not her. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up to Kelly Tidd. Uh, the goal is 48 states in 52 weeks, but I wanted to do it in a vintage travel trailer because those things are fucking awesome. Uh, but I also decided that I wanted to renovate my own trailer. So I saved up my pennies and I started looking and I found uh, my trailer, which by the way, her name is Petunia. And she is a 1965 aristocrat mainliner. Uh, apparently this is a very rare thing. It has been very hard to find parts for it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, when I bought her, um, you know, she wasn't very much to look at. White exterior, um, mauve, matte interior, just a glorious, just beige existence. But she was in Oregon, so I rented a Ford Super Duty 350 diesel dually truck, drove out to Oregon, picked her up, and pulled her back. And these are some of the lessons I learned. The first was to expect the unexpected. Um, she kind of had this nasty, like, toothpaste-colored carpet that I pulled up and found, like, the Technicolor rainbow of terribleness carpet. And underneath that was a rotted uh, carpet pad that uh, turned a two-hour um, task into a three-day um, <laughs> task. I scraped floors for a very long time. Uh, the next lesson I learned was actually to find a zen in manual labor. Um, I spent over 40 hours painting this trailer inside and out. Um, I hate those yoga pants so fucking much because... <laughs> um, and you know what? Your, what your dad said is right. Hard work builds character. I got character coming on my ass right now. So, you know, it was a great experience. Um, the other thing I learned was simplicity and how wonderful it can be. That was the refrigerator I had. That's where the refrigerator isn't anymore. I lived without a refrigerator, stove, or bathroom for three months. And I lived on beef jerky. Um, no vegan. Beef jerky fucking rocks. Anyways, um, what I found was that I actually found, had a lot more space than I thought. Um, in a tiny, a tiny little trailer, I have trouble filling up the drawers and closets. Those are the full ones. What you don't see are the empty closets that I still have in a 16-foot trailer. Um, simplicity is actually very easy once you embrace it. Uh, speaking of 16 feet, uh, it's 16 feet. You kind of have to be alone a lot. So, uh, I kind of learned how to be by myself for the first time in a very long time. And when I say by myself, I mean by myself. That's where I sleep. This thing is a rolling chastity belt. Like, I don't, <laughs> I sleep with a ceiling this close to my face. So, I ain't nothing happening on there. If the trailer's rocking, it's something else. But I did, you know, and all that so like solitary, like in all that solitude, I learned the importance of friends. Because my friends, Roy and Amy, they have a dedicated memorial wing in my trailer. Um, they helped me out so much and they gave me the stability that I needed to really um, finish this project. And by the way, stabilizer jacks are very important. Just wanna throw that out. If you ever get a trailer, stabilizer jacks, awesome. But friends are very important because they are the people that cheer you on. They're your cheerleaders. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, they cheer you on and they give you sort of hope when you just want to like throw a paintbrush at a trailer. Um, in the end, you know, there was a lot of hard work. I got a lot of sunburns, a lot of bruises, a lot of cuts. Um, but I turned that sort of ugly ass little trailer into something that's pretty 
fucking adorable. <laughs> this is Petunia now. Um, and I intend to be leaving in the next month to travel around the country for a year in this little sweet little thing. Um, and so the biggest lesson I've learned is whenever you read, whenever you encounter adversity, you know what? Fuck it, just roll with it. And if you want to follow me, hey Petunia is the blog. I love you all. Have a great day. I got an idea here. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelly Tidd. Yeah. Kelly Tidd.